Hey guys, John here. I have Rufus with me today. Rufus is our Great Dane. And for those of you who are new, I am totally blind. We're just out here. We're gonna go for a nice little walk. Rufus is gonna do a big pee. You can probably hear that. Um, so uh, yeah, we're just gonna do a little walk around our block. I'm not using my cane. Uh, I'm very familiar with this area, so I don't necessarily need my cane. I should have it, but I don't. Um, Rufus is one of three dogs that uh, live in our house. We have Rufus, we have Neeson, my guide dog, and we have Louis, our third dog, who is a great Pyrenees Mastiff St. Bernard uh, combo. Rufus here, this is about Rufus. This video is all about Rufy Doo. He is nearly 11. He is a Blue Dane. He's about 125, 130 pounds, very lean, uh, gen a very gentle soul. Great Danes are great apartment dogs, despite what people will tell you. They are big, lazy house cats. So Rufus and I, we walk together a lot. Uh, I walk him often during the day when his mom, Colleen, my partner, is at work. And he's gonna poop on the sidewalk. And this is what he does. So you guys can see a blind guy picking up Great Dane poop. He, uh... He, um... Has always been... A, a, um... A dog that just, he'll poop anywhere. He's like, I'm the biggest dog on the block. I'm gonna poop wherever the hell I want. So yeah, I find walking this guy um, very, very, um, just gonna put some dog poop in my pocket here. Some, some people think that's gross. I think it's hilarious. But anyway, <laughs> I find walking Rufus, um, very therapeutic don't really know why just because he's 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 old and slow and he just plods along sniffing um he's just a gentle soul and uh it's funny at, at night time at like seven o'clock he starts to to complain and it's totally because we've gotten into the habit of of going for a walk around that time so I know that he wants to go for his walk when he starts to complain. This car on my right. So this is the building next to the one that we live in. On my left. Beautiful day here in Ottawa. It's about 10 degrees. Rufus is going to pull over for a sniff. And I, I let him do this. I like. I, I have no problem just hanging out here while he does his sniffing thing. When he does this, I'll just check him to see if he's actually going to the bathroom or not. <laughs> More pee for the big guy. So Rufus is one of my, is Colleen's dog. Um, she has had him since he was a puppy. So when Colleen and I moved in together, Rufus was living with her aunt because her previous landlord didn't want her having two big dogs. So she just had Louie with her. But a month after she moved in with me, she asked me if I would mind if uh, Rufus came to live with us. And of course, I'm, I'm all over that. I love Great Danes. They're probably one of my top three favorite dog breeds. So I was like, hell yeah, we want the Roofinator, the Roofy Doofy, Snoofy Doo living with us. So we got a bit of a circus at our house, but we, we make it work. There's actually another Great Dane at the dog park often when we take Rufus. His name is Peanut and he is an Italian Dane. So the Italian Danes are a fair bit bigger than the Blue Danes. This Italian Dane weighs uh, around 160. 
Hey, don't eat that. No. Come on. This way. Come on. Let's go. Nope. Rufus. Good boy. Mm -hmm. I know. It's gorgeous out here. Windy. So I am careful when I don't have my cane. I take my time as well. So we're a good match together when we walk together. When I have no cane. We're both in no hurry to get where we need to get to. You can probably hear the wind on my uh, on my camera. How oh, Rufy do? So Rufus is pretty tall. He's about 33. Uh, I mean, maybe not that tall. 31 is inches at the shoulder. He's a very long dog too. Very long tail. He just plods along. Ho hum. Here he is. I'll walk backwards so I can get you on camera, Rufy Doo. Oh, little sniff. Rufus loves to sniff. He's very lean. If you run your hand down his back, you can clearly feel his uh, his uh, spine. But he's always been like that. A lot of old dogs, they do begin to feel like that. They do lose uh, just body mass, overall body mass. But he has always been this lean. So sometimes in the morning when we get up, I'll walk Rufus, Some, sometimes Aline will, it just depends on various factors, I guess. Um, oh, left there, bud. Hang. Make your turn. There you go, get up there. This is his favorite spot to sniff, right off this corner. So he's nearly 11, which for those of you who don't know is old for a Dane, very old for a Dane, but he's he's still got some life in him. Like he's he's not hanging on yet. <laughs> he's doing very well. He so the, the day after he goes on like a big long walk, he is like this. Like he he is he is slower than usual. He just plods along, but if he has a couple of days of rest, he can give her. Uh huh. He can give it pretty good. At the dog park, he'll actually run a little bit. So I will drag my feet when I walk, just because it, the sound it throws off uh, and like it echoes. So it, it kind of just gives me feedback to know that there's something coming up. For example, this car right here. Just a little blind trick of the trade. On the home stretch there, big fella. Anything you want to say to your fans, Rufus? You're on international YouTube right now. Oh, he's gonna maybe do some more peeing no what are you doing bud oh he's just taking out he's just taking a sniff okay oh sun's trying to come out so I'm gonna drop uh, Rufus off and then grab my boy Neeson and go to the dog park and see if there's any any dogs there. We went this morning, but there were no dogs there, so we just did some harness work and then came home. <coughs> so hopefully, it's a gorgeous afternoon, so you'd think there'd be a couple of willing participants to battle with. We'll see. Da -da -da -da. Nice big grassy area in front of our building. There's a park across the street. They don't allow dogs in there, but we sometimes 
sneak them in at night time when no one's around. Good boy, Roofy Doofy Snoo. Roofer Doofer, you made it, big guy. So this is Rufus. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.